In the digital currency space, the wallet is used to manage and move value. So the wallet is needed in order to send and receive from one person to another globally, instantly, without needing third parties, intermediaries, or banks to control the value exchange. These technologies are going to have a radical impact on many, many different sectors. The first example being cash for the internet, what Bitcoin really is, and it's going to have a greater impact, I think, than what the internet could do. As a user, you have an asset and you want to send it to someone else, that's what a wallet does. The equivalent to the wallet is the, the browser for the internet. So the browser is what enables the masses to manage and move information. We all use that to navigate the internet. The wallet is the interface for the entire ecosystem. And just like Google focuses on the, the browser, we've been focused on creating the tools and interfaces that empower people to be in control of their lives. And the wallets are the first step. We never want to have control or custodianship of your money because that takes us away from the principles of what these technologies stand for is, is the ability to be your own bank. That's what this is going to enable. Right now we've seen what's been happening about the problems with collecting user information and selling it. And we've seen that come to the forefront. We've seen issues with privacy. Well, it starts off by not collecting user information. There's no centralized place that's storing your, your information. A lot of the issues that we've seen these days are, are attacks on centralized systems, whether it be things we've seen with Target, Home Depot, the hacks that we've seen there where identities or information is stored in a central place, and that is prone to attack, and you're trying to always protect that thing, whereas decentralized systems take pieces of it and spread it on the many different areas, and it becomes much harder for it to be attacked, much harder to be compromised. With these new systems, these decentralized systems, like Bitcoin, like Ethereum, the only thing you need to be onboarded is a phone and an internet connection. So it's going to be a very liberating and empowering technologies that will enable more people to enter financial systems, be able to interact globally. It's not just about Bitcoin, it's not just about Ethereum. I think it's too early to be thinking of winners and losers right this time and putting all your eggs in one basket. So I support Bitcoin, I support Ethereum, I also support dozens and dozens of other technologies that are emerging now.